In Hellblade, we wanted to create a combat system that was more immediate and more grounded than in our previous games. One that didn't require the player to memorize combo strings and skill trees, but at the same time required skill and mastery. In previous diaries, we've talked about how our camera and controls have a very different feel, more intimate and subjective than the usual distant third-person cameras we normally have in our games. With this viewpoint came an opportunity to pursue a directional combat system where attacking and blocking could be done in one or four different directions. Like so many areas of game development, promising paths can lead to dead ends. And in this case, it was becoming clear that directional combat was limiting gameplay. There were several issues. For one, directional combat limited the kind of animations that we could create. It also made multi-opponent combat very awkward because you couldn't use the movement stick to switch between enemies. And while directional combat was mechanically sound, it just didn't feel satisfying and no matter how much we pushed, it always just felt mechanical. It was time to change tack. Juan joined the design team to focus on combat and with him brought a fresh perspective. My approach was to focus on simple but tight core actions like uh, fast and slow attacks, blocking and evading, but work on making them flow really responsibly and intuitively. Um, our combat system asks the player to make tactical choices uh, instead of relying on memorizing and executing complex combos, although there's still a fair amount of depth to the moves that you can perform. With the movement stick no longer used for directional combat, we could now focus on experimenting with uh, fighting multiple enemies at the same time and how the player would uh, flow between them. While Juan was making great progress, development time was running out, and as we only had two animators covering all of Senua and all of the enemies, we could see trouble ahead. Nevertheless, we felt there was an opportunity to take a different approach, and we wanted to test this out. So we reached out to a skilled stunt woman who could perform the types of moves that we imagined Senua were capable of. We asked Chloe Bruce, who recently played Daisy Ridley's stunt double in Force Awakens, to come to the studio for a test. Using the game as reference, we wanted to see if Chloe could match the timings and flow of Senua rather than doing it the other way around, which is how it's normally done. After half a day of capturing, we went to work to see if we could translate this back into the game. So we tested a couple of uh, combat strings out to see how quick the workflow was and also what quality we could achieve in the time. I had to make um, tweaks to the general timing and also poses. Uh, we managed to create two playable uh, combos in pretty much a day. Um, this would have taken a lot longer traditionally. The great thing about that is that I can then focus on the things that we can't really motion capture, like some of the more outlandish actions in the game. With the help of Chloe, we proved that we could make combat work for Senua, but we still needed to find someone to represent all of the enemies in the game. And we found that with Kali Nell. With our combat mode cap tests complete and with Chloe and Callie on board, we had everything in place to make it work. We couldn't use our internal studio because the ceiling was too low and the space too small, so we booked the Imaginarium Studios in London to capture the rest of the combat. And over the next two days at Imaginarium we captured as much as we could for both Senua and all of the enemies. The direction we're heading in seems to be paying off. With mocap we have a better base of realism, 
without directional combat we have more freedom to explore styles and moves and so we're working on this hard right now and we hope to show you the results pretty soon.